what is up everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you some rare beauty products i know i had somebody request a video so i am super excited to show you this look and keep watching so first i'm gonna put some primer i'm just using the same primer i normally use it's the urban decay optical illusion primer Now I'm gonna take my Smashbox foundation and put about two pumps all over my face. I'm just taking that with my Real Techniques sponge. Now I'm going to take my Born This Way concealer and apply that under my eyes. I'm going to take that on my eyelid as well to prep it for a little bit of shadow that I'm going to put on. And I'm really excited about this one. This is the Rare Beauty, fresh out the package in the shade Bliss. Heard really good things about this. I know that it is super pigmented, so I'm gonna just take a little bit on like the back of my hand, or you can use a palette. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and just blend that in. So this is the perfect look if you're in a hurry and you just need to get out the door real quick. I've been trying to get better at not putting the applicators directly on my skin. I just feel like it's the perfect way bacteria transfers back and forth so I've been trying not to do that. My face is already pretty round, so I try not to put it directly like on the apples of my cheek. I love this. It is so pretty. It blends right into the skin. It is kind of like a natural pink shade, but you can definitely build it up. It has a very natural matte finish, so I feel like it's perfect if you're looking for a liquid blush. And I'm just going to take that damp sponge and just go over it to make sure it's nice and blended. I'm going to take a little bit of translucent powder and just set mainly the under eye and the T-zone area. Now I'm just taking a little bit of my Hoola bronzer right under that blush just to bronze up my face a little bit. And today I wanted a very natural highlight, so I'm taking my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone with the Morphe M510 brush. I'm just going to put a little bit on the high points of my face. gonna pop a little bit right on the inner corner with my finger I'm just kind of tapping it so I was going for a very fresh look today I just went ahead and popped on my pumpkin earrings real quick now I'm gonna take a little bit of that hula bronzer with this fluffy morphe brush and just pack that right into the crease
And now um, for the brows, I've been using this Rare Beauty Brow Harmony pencil. So it comes with the pencil on one end and the other side is the gel. And um, I haven't really used the top. It's real creamy and I don't prefer that in the eyebrow pencil. I feel like it might smudge a little bit, but I love the gel part. I've been using it like every day. I use it just to comb up my eyebrows and call it a day. It's perfect if you're just wanting something really quick and just to kind of fluff up the eyebrows. Even just to set the eyebrows, it's really good. Today I'm going to use just the gel and it's a really tiny brush and you get quite a bit of product for the price so definitely think it's worth it. So you can kind of see the difference right there. This is with the gel, this is without. Just kind of makes them look more full. And it adds just a little bit of tint, which is perfect for me. Super easy to use. Now what I'm gonna do is curl my eyelashes, put on mascara, and then just pop on some Ardell Wispies. And I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I just feel like applying the mascara before the lashes kind of helps me to apply them a little bit easier. And if you're not into lashes, you can just put the mascara, call it a day, but I, I just like to add the lashes for a little bit of an extra oomph. <laughs> With this small Morphe pencil brush, I'm going to take a little bit of that bronzer and smoke it across my lower lash line. And I sometimes like to just drag it out to kind of give me more of a wing look. If I feel like the eyelashes need to be blended a little bit more, I'll just put on a little bit more mascara on the top as well. I'm going to take my Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pin and just put a little bit right on the inner corner to connect the lashes. Now I'm going to take this Chanel Nude Lip Liner with this Chanel Gloss in 119. So I'm going to line my lips a little bit and then put that lip gloss in the center. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So that took me about 30 minutes. It's a pretty quick makeup look. If you want to be a little bit more, I guess, natural glam, you could call it. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you on Sunday for Spooky Sundays.
later.